Lamborghini announces their first plug-in super SUV in Singapore. They had a launch event to show the new hybrid Lamborghini Urus in Singapore. It's very advanced as far as Lamborghini or as far as any car goes. 11 drive modes, still has a V8 engine, four liter, but also has a electric motor and electric battery. Just showing some of the pictures of the styling, which is basically Urus. They are going to continue to make the Urus if for the people that don't want the hybrid version. Um, let's see, it'll continue into 2025, the Urus S and the Urus Performance, if you don't want the hybrid model. but it, So it looks like they're going to uh, push everybody into the hybrid model. But it looks like the way they're doing it, it's going to have better performance that 192 horsepower electric motor. So you get a peak of 789 horsepower with the new Urus plug-in electric vehicle. Um, some updates to the interior, some style updates, but I think the uh, key part is that they've added the electric motor so that it has that extra, extra power plug-in hybrid uh, let's see I think it's got 21 miles of range no I forget what story though it's 21 miles of, oh they're figuring 21 miles of range um, hybrid based on uh, US testing uh, European spec 37 miles of range but at I mean for Lamborghini Urus that's never been why somebody buys one of those is uh, <laughs> how much range the battery has but interesting to see what they've done. It's got uh, more drive modes. It's got 11 drive modes. So it's, it's advanced in many ways. But at the price tag of about $250,000, you would expect them to stay at the top of the uh, curve as far as automotive advancement. But there you have it. Lamborghini is stepping in to the plug-in electric hybrid. Uh, it, only interesting part is that it isn't uh, full electric. So they are taking basically Toyota's lead. Toyota's been really pushing the plug-in uh, plug hybrid market. So you've got the uh, gas engine and you've got the battery. So you have much longer range. I'm trying to do, reduce that range anxiety. Most people don't actually need that kind of range, but they feel better knowing that they've got the longer range. Uh, you take that couple trips a year, and yeah, basically you've got the mileage. But for the, I mean, average person, I bet they don't even hit that 21 miles. And with the uh, variation in how they're figuring the uh, miles of range, uh, I bet, I bet the average person doesn't even hit the gas on that. Well, I mean, you'll hit the gas on it, but uh, you won't need the gas above the electric. Although I'm sure if you step on it, that engine's got to kick in. My biggest takeaway on that is how will this sound? I, I always laugh at the electric vehicles that have the uh, the speakers giving like piped in sound. Never liked that. I thought you should, if you hear the engine, you should hear the engine. I mean, those originally were natural sounds. And they should continue to be natural sounds. So we'll see what uh, what Lamborghini gives you for how this thing sounds when it comes out. That's all I got for now. Thank you.